Hello everyone, this is a video about how to uh, create graphs from your Google form survey. So this is my example survey. You can see that I have Likert scale items. I have a check all that apply question. I have multiple choice question, well two multiple choice questions. Um, so I'm going to show you how this program has actually counted up the data for you. Um, but then you have to kind of do a little bit of work to get it in a form that you can then translate or uh, export to some sort of a graph. So first and foremost, if you, once you're finished, um, once you want to take your, your survey offline, you just check this box here that says accepting responses, and it says do not accept responses, or not accepting responses. So essentially this takes your survey offline. Okay. Now if you click on responses, and if you've done this already, this line here will say change response destination. If you haven't chosen a response destination, it may say choose response destination. Uh, but this is something that you'll need to do first, where what you'll want to do is create a spreadsheet that all of the responses for your survey will be exported to. Um, I've already done this, so I'm good. So if I click view responses, here is um, my spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet is broken down according to question. Um, and it lists every participant's responses. Okay. Um, now, what you can do from this screen is sort your responses. So this is where, if you wanted to sort your, um, you know, sort your surveys according to demographics, um, I click this button here. It says this filter. So I would turn it on. And I get these little arrows. Um, so here I can sort according to sophomores, and then the only thing I'll see are the responses from my sophomores, or, or I guess I unchecked sophomores. Um, here if I wanted to sort according to uh, participants who rarely do math homework, then I unclick one or two, one to two, and then that's all that I see. So that allows you again to, uh, to um, filter your your data according to a certain question or certain demographic group. Um, the one thing that I have not been able to figure out is um, if, how to count responses. So if you watched the other video on how to make uh, graphs and tables, basically you, you create a, a spreadsheet that has a total for each of your um, items. I would recommend watching that video if you haven't done it yet. Um, here, it just gives me a list of every single person that has responded in a certain way as opposed to actually tabulating the responses. However, um, Google does that for you, but in the form of some sort of bar graph. So if you go to Tools, or, I'm sorry, not Tools. If you go to Responses, Summary of Responses, gives you bar graphs. So here, it actually will tabulate how many people chose a certain response for a certain question. So this is very simple, where you can just take these numbers that have already been tabulated, open up an Excel spreadsheet, and then create an Excel spreadsheet from that from those numbers. So you don't, like I said, you don't actually have to count everything up. Um, you would just have to create the spreadsheet anyway. So again, if you haven't watched the, uh, the video on creating graphs and charts, you need to watch that because you will have to create some sort of a spreadsheet um, unless you can figure out something that I haven't been able to figure out with uh, figure out yet which I'm sure is quite possible because um, some of you are, are brainiacs with technology um, so again just looking at this page it's broken down every single question and given it to you in a couple of different ways um, which is good so that is it um, good luck um, and again, if um, this is for if you have created a survey using Google Forms.